Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas 2019. Today is December 1st and let me tell you there is a bite in the air today. Let me show you the outside. It's not quite winter. Well it is, it's not quite winter because it's December 1st but as you come outside can you hear the church bells? My husband just left the church. I didn't go. Um, it looks cold. <laughs> There's the remnants of the garden. But it's supposed to snow today. It's supposed to snow. And you know what? It feels like snow. And if you look at the clouds, they look like they're full of snow. And that's the sun, if you can barely see it. So here we go. December 2019. This is my first Vlogmas. Some of you who have subscribed to my channel know that I do have a video broadcast, a video vlog, a podcast. Let's just say it's knitting, sewing, quilting, a lots of different kinds of making, card making. So my two dogs will be joining me on this journey of Vlogmas. Here is Molly, who is very tired today. She's still recuperating from the Thanksgiving Day holiday because we had everyone here. And these guys get all excited. She just gets so much attention, which she loves, that she has to sleep for a couple of days afterwards. She can't even eat her cookie yet this morning. I hear some feet coming this way. And this is the Zuzu. Hey, Zuzu. Look at the camera. Zuzu gets scared stiff when we have company, so... And she's pretty much my doggy. And you'll always see her by my side when it's um, Vlogmas. Any kind of vlogging. I cleaned up the house for Thanksgiving because we hosted. And um, I'm going to try to keep things up to date. But I'm going to bring you along on my day-to-day -day, uh, December time. My husband's making a new puzzle. Here it is. Let's see if we have a light. Can you see it? Superstitions. It's going to do a puzzle, 1500 piece puzzle of famous superstitions. I think they'll be fun to do. Although I just mapped out the size of the puzzle for him with washi tape. It's 24 by 33. Still working on getting all those edges in. Puzzles are fun. So I'm going to um, do a day-to-day. -day. As I said, I have lots to do. Here is my handmade calendar on the fridge. You might notice that on Wednesday the 4th, we're having a craft show and our Christmas party at our Knitter's Guild. So you'll see me preparing my final things for for the craft show. Of course, I had high hopes of getting so many things prepared and I haven't done them yet. But I'll bring you along on my journey of finishing things up for the Christmas uh, marketplace, which will be on Wednesday the 4th. As I said, today's the 1st. We're expecting snow. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Tonight is my knit night. Hopefully I'll be still going in at night through the snow. Hopefully it won't be too deep by then. So I will just um, fill you in on what's going on day to day as I move along. Right now I'm going to make a cup of coffee and I'm going to start finishing my sewing of some different bags and things that I'm getting ready for Wednesday night's craft night, uh, craft marketplace. Okay, I'll see you in the craft room. Bye now. Hey, so here we are. Got that coffee made and I'm down in the craft room. Well, I'm down in the sewing room. What I'm going to be doing is finishing up some of what these are called rice bags. They're little, they're, they're going to be used as project bags. Um, I'm going to try to sell them as project bags for um, whatever, whatever kind of project you have. But I had these panels. I had these panels from a long time ago that show... Um, these very cool looking mannequins with fancy heads. 
don't know what. They're, they're basically sewing based, of course, because if you can see, I have um, pin cushion inside lining. I have yardstick little, um, what can we call them, flaps to pull the drawstring through. Here's one that's practically closed. So I've made these little, what they call is rice bags. Stuart Hilliard, I believe his name is, did a, um, a, 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 a YouTube video on how to make these a, a short time ago. I will link to his um, video in, in the um, description box below. I'm actually making one cat themed because these cats are just really cute. This one's almost finished. So those two are kind of done. This one you can see is inside out because that's still in progress. Um, that's going to have these ties. This is going to have those ties. I'm close. So I'll have one, two, three, four there. And I have, I guess those are the only rice bags I have. I have four rice bags. I have a list of things I want to bring to the craft show that I have to finish up. Okay, uh, yeah, four small rice bags. I want to make, oh, two large rice bags out of these ladies. Don't know if I'll get to them. We'll see later what today brings. Um, then I have some other bags. These are all bags right here. This I don't think I'm going to sell because I didn't make a lot of those yet. These are needle minders. I'll probably bring those needle minders. Um, and these, this is a uh, llama, llama bags, little sheep, got some knitting chickens, got a Harry Potter, got some knitting sheep, and I have two sweater quantity um, rifle paper company, um, cotton and steel, I don't know. I don't know if they're bees, wasps, moths, what. I've got two of those. All right, so I have those bags that I'll be taking. I have these bowls. I'm not going to bring those bowls unless I use them for display. I have some, what are they called? They are called finch buckets. I bought the pattern from um, Stitch Mischief. She has recently sent through a correction to the pattern that has some different sizes. These are kind of big bags. Um, this is not one. This is an over-the-shoulder type bag, a tapestry one. I'll probably bring that one to the sale. These are two. That's a Rifle Paper Company bag, a uh, Finch bag, and this is like, <laughs> I really love this orange one. So these are very large. These are very large inside. Let me open this up, give you an idea. These are very large inside. A lot of pocket space. So I'm going to make a few more of those before Wednesday. Ha, 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 uh, yes. Okay, let's see what else is on my list. Oh, tissue, tissue covers. The old Kleenex tissue packets for your purse. Very handy, but they get very sloppy and dirty in your purse, if you're like me. So I am making different, um, from scraps, just little, little tissue packets. They'll be a low price point, as will some of these things. I have other things upstairs. As the days go by, I will show you before Wednesday. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be finishing up these bags. Hi. So here we are. We're downstairs. And I said I was going to finish these bags today. Hopefully I'm finishing these four. We've got uh, Gilmore Girls. Marathon on Up TV, okay, hosted by Luke Danes. So what I'm doing right now is I just finished top stitching the bags, the last two. So these four will be done. I'm clipping threads and I'm running the drawstring through these little, uh, I don't know what to call them, flaps. What you do is you take four seven inch or whatever size you want squares, five, because you put one on the bottom too. And then you take five seven inch squares or any size square and, and uh, make a lining. Sew them right sides together. I put batting on the uh, outside, the, the 
the um, actual fabric, not the lining fabric, but I put batting against the backing of the, the main fabric. So I should bring this back a little. Uh, it's closer back further. Okay. And then um, they make a nice little square pouch that can stand up straight. And then we'll put these, I just cut two and a half inch strips with the fabric and fold them in half, fold them in half again. You know, fold them in half and then fold the edges into the middle and then top stitch them both sides and weave them in. I'm going to do it on the opposite side of this, um, of the tabs. It's like tab curtains. <laughs> That's what they should be called, tabs, right? Sure. Um, and I go all the way around so that this drawstring is the opposite of this drawstring because here are the ends of this drawstring and I'm going to bring them around this bring this one around the other way and um, that'll be it this is the final piece they're nice <clears throat> they're lightweight they they cinch up pretty good where did I start <laughs> oh I started right here so we're done so just take the ends Put the ends together, tie a knot, make sure they're straight. Yep. Tie a knot. And then, oh, look at this. This is the Gilmore Girls where, um, I don't know if I can show you this, <laughs> where Lane is pregnant with the twins. Lane is pregnant with the twins, and Mrs. Kim wants. Lorelai's trying to get Mrs. Kim to be friends again. Kim and uh, Mrs. Kim and uh, Lane to be friends again. She's trying to work it out for them. Lorelai, who fixes everything. I've only watched this series like no lie, at least from beginning to end, at least ten times, which is kind of crazy. I know, but love the show. It's my favorite show, favorite show of all time. I would say. Okay, so back to the bags. Mm -hmm. Back to the bags. It's very convenient to have a television right near where you're working to ensure that you stay down here and work. Because you just got to watch the next episode of the Gilmore Girls. Alright, tie off the other end. And the bag is complete. You know what? It's not as cute. This one's not as cute as the others. You know why? Because... It's all the same fabric. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, you see the lining fabric of the ties, but I think this looks nicer. Who knew? That's the first one I made that way. I think this one's nicer because the top, you can see the tabs are a different fabric. Note to self for next time. Although, if you are a cat lover, you may enjoy the cat tabs. Just have to finish off this one. And these four bags are done. Okay, see you later. That's on my shift or night shift or whatever oh, the heck it is. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. And remember, I just bitched the whole time I knit it because I was like, oh my God. That's so true. Yes. I was afraid you to stop that mine. Mosaic knitting is like a big thing. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. what the we're at night. It's night true. At Starbucks. And when Claire said that, that and was actually a mosaic. And it's I'm snowing. Oh, it's yeah. snowing in New England. But that's nice. Now this is Donna. And yeah. Kim, Except and for Joanna, I still don't, I still don't get and a right? winning person, a <laughs> Diana. I We're all here nice. at. I didn't try. I tried Starbucks, one of them. and oh, here's the look at the weather. But I, I it's not I too bad yet. But we showed up for knitting. Because it didn't tell you how to unstack them. Like yeah. You can, oh, and look right. at he's sanding the driveway. I really like the way. We'll be all set. But I followed the pattern <laughs> and went all the way. The okay. You know, so. the, the big thing here is being able to get this off my phone. I've never taken a video off my phone. Diana's got a hat going. Copycat hat. Copycat hat. That's really pretty. Yeah. But it's the whole hat, which would probably be a good thing. Well, then she made a cow. Joanna has socks. She's in, this is the um, knit along. Is it the knit along? I'm not part of the knit along. Oh. Andrea Maury's. Look at how pretty. Nice. But I'm reversing it, which is not part of the pattern. Well, so that's... I don't have to do all pearly. And Kim's doing her swancho, right? Yep, swancho. 
How beautiful. The colors are looking pretty good on my phone. I'm hoping this is the color that will come out on the computer. It's definitely your color. And Donna. First we have to talk about Donna's sweater that she knitted from her hand spun. And what's the name of your pattern? Oh, you don't remember. Okay. We can't, we can't tell you the name of the pattern. So, And what are you making? I am starting a pair of socks. Oh, all right. So there we are. Okay. Day one, Vlogmas. Thanks, ladies. Yeah, I took a picture of the snow.